Hello and welcome. It's Stevan here with All American Print Supply, and today we're going to be taking you on a step by step on direct to garment printing using the brand new Epson F3070. It's the latest and greatest in DTG. We're going to show you how quick and easy this is. Before we get started, I would like to mention our YouTube channel. It's going to be AA Print Supply Co. on YouTube.com. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and tap that post notification bell so you never miss any of our awesome print related content. We're going to get started right now, and I'm going to be printing on our ring spun cotton t-shirt. This is available at aaprintsupplyco.com. Now, my first step is going to be the pre-press. From packaging or storage, your garment may have wrinkles or even moisture in the material. So we're going to head over to our Stahl's Hotronic 1620 Auto Open, and we're going to be pressing this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, all I'm doing is evening out and smoothing the garment, so just a few seconds here should be plenty. And then we're ready to start pre-treating. That's gonna be our next step. Now that I have a nice, smooth garment, we're gonna take this over to the Mr. T1 from Ecofreen. This is my personal favorite pre-treat machine, and it's able to handle all the different pre-treat solutions on the market, including polyester. It's equipped with this awesome handy reference chart that can give you recommended speed settings depending on a t-shirt, medium weight garment, heavy sweatshirt, you name it. I'm going to be running this on a level 5, which is the fastest setting, but I'm going to be doing a round trip, which is two passes. I've designated on the screen, I'm going to be pressing the entire garment, but you do have control to do either a pocket logo, half, or the full 16 by 20. We're going to open up the drawer here, and I'm going to tuck the excess material underneath this handy drawer uh, below the platen. I've got all my settings entered onto the machine. And we're going to hit start. Now that the garment is pre-treated, it can technically air dry. Pre-treat just needs to be absorbed by the fabric. But if you're ready to start printing, we're going to take this back over to our heat press. It gives about 30 seconds at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, before I close the machine, I'm going to perform what's called the hover step. I'm not going to quite shut it, but I'm going to lower the heating element close to the wet garment so that it's going to start to dry a little naturally without the contact. This is especially useful if you're pre-treating something, say a heavy sweatshirt, which will have more pre-treat solution on there. This will help prevent any kind of crystallization or blemishes so we get a perfect print first shot. That should be a decent hover for the t-shirt. Now before I close the machine, I'm going to protect my heating element from the wet pre-treat using this double-sided thick sheet here. I don't want to get any kind of ink, foreign soil, pre-treat, anything onto this heating element so it stays nice and clean. Now with 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 seconds in the heat press, this should be nice and dried up and ready to print. Now, if you are in a production setting or say you know you sell a lot of a certain size or color, you can certainly pre-treat ahead of time or maybe that day before your big production run. And then the next day, you're ready to start printing. Give this just a moment in here. Uh, we're also working with the uh, Firebird pre-treat. It's uh, GTX optimized. We carry all the major brands here and have the right solution for you and your business. That should be plenty here. We're going to go ahead and take the t-shirt out of the heat press. And now we're ready to start printing. Now, for today, we're going to be operating our Neo Rip by Cathari software and our barcode automation system. The Cathari software is a great way to unlock the true potential of what these machines are capable of. For designs such as gradients, fades, transitions of light and dark colors, this is really going to bring out the true resolution of what you designed on the computer. In addition, we can also enjoy tremendous ink savings by optimizing our white underbase. If you're pressing a shirt that's a black garment, you're going to need maybe a different amount of white underneath versus, say, a red or a green garment. This will allow you additional color environments so you can maximize your ink with an estimated savings of around 40%. In addition, you'll also have options such as underbase choke, white highlighting, and more. For more information on the Cathari RIP software or our new barcode automation system, be sure to head over to the YouTube channel. It's AA Print Supply Co. on YouTube.com to learn more. Now, we've already sent our design from the Cathari RIP to the F3070, and it's time to load the garment. You have the option to either place the garment directly on top. My personal preference is to thread it like an ironing board. I feel by threading the t-shirt onto the platen, I just have a little more control over positioning and finding a good print point. The F3070 is also equipped with this brand new hanger accessory on all their platens. This is a great way to speed up loading the garment, finding your print location, and just operating that much quicker. 
Now you figure a men's design is typically two, maybe three fingers from the neckline. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust that here and kind of use this neck tag as a center point. Now, not every garment company is gonna perfectly center those labels. So what I like to do is using the stitches on the sleeves, just kind of even those out left and right. If it's X amount far on this side, try to even that out here. And that's how I really get a nice center point. After I have positioned my garment onto the machine, I'm gonna go ahead and attach this included hoop. This is gonna keep the garment nice and stable in the same position as it's fed into the machine to start printing. As we said, the design has already been received on the F3070, and we're gonna see just how fast this lays down this design. Now on the Epson F3070, this is equipped with brand new dual print head technology. We're looking at, for the first time ever, almost simultaneous white underbase, CMYK on top, in a single pass. Each one of these print heads is equipped with over 8,000 nozzles, and you have auto health detection to let you know if these need attention, and it'll actually also compensate if there are clogs to make sure we still get that perfect print. You know, in previous generations of the Epson F-Series direct garment we were looking at one pass to lay down that white underbase, go back in the tunnel for the CMYK on top. Like I mentioned, we're doing this here in one pass. We're also combining bulk ink system pricing. So we have the safety and protection of the microchip and filtration, but with the value savings of a bulk system. It's the best of both worlds. Oh man, that was quick. This thing is already coming out. I still see underbase. It's literally laying down the CMY Kai at the same time. This is awesome. That was really fast. Oh my goodness, I want you guys to take a look at this. Yeah, if, if you're looking to speed up your production, increase your workflow, optimize the hours in the day, you guys saw how quick this was. We took a blank black t-shirt, pre-pressed, pre-treated, dried it, and printed it, and that was super fast. We try to exercise and emphasize being like a chef in a kitchen. While that was printing, I could have something being pre-pressed. I could have something pre-treating. This is gonna be able to keep up with the demands of a heavy workflow, and then you have the protection and peace of mind of the industry-leading Epson warranty. For more information on any of the products or processes that we've gone over today, be sure to visit us at our brand new website, that's aaprintsupplyco.com, connect with the representative, but oh man, the results speak for themselves, guys. Once again, this is the Cathari RIP software teamed up with the Epson F3070 direct garments This is awesome. I hope this was a useful bit of video here, kind of show you guys step by step how easy this is to operate and the quality you guys can offer your customers. Oh man, this is awesome. I wanna thank all you guys for your time today and uh, we'll see you next time.